Tom, are you okay? I lost her. Her? She was going to be this epic, trilogy-worthy character. I was going to be the hottest writer in Hollywood. But I can't get past Act 1. You need some writer's group therapy. Hello, and welcome to Writer's Group Therapy. I'm Tom. And I'm Roshni. We're writers helping writers. Are you ready for your session? The doctors are in. And if you like what you hear, you can find us online at Writer's Group Therapy and um, also what WG Therapy on Twitter and WG Therapy on Instagram and individually. Uh, Tom underscore Loveman on Twitter and Tom Loveman on Instagram. And I'm at Roshni Lumino on Twitter and at Moon Lily Music on Instagram. So, what have you been writing lately? <laughs> well, I've been sick, actually, so I haven't oh. been doing anything. But I've been writing mostly comedy, which, yeah. That, that's, I think, the hardest thing to write, actually. <laughs> you know, that's what they say. A lot of it's timing. But um, we actually just had a, a gentleman on our podcast for interview, and he talked about dealing with sensitive topics now he's a documentarian is that the right word yes. documentary filmmaker so um he's dealing in realism and journalistic pieces but it did bring up an interesting question which is how do you write hard scenes well in, when we're talking in a fictional sense things like sex and violence and uh abuse physical abuse uh, of children or animals and you know, I've had to write some fight scenes and some things I've written and the horror stuff, you know, obviously murders. And I, I usually it just comes out of the story for me. I don't think uh, I think I think what my problem is about it is I don't write it hard enough. Like I don't write as, vi as violent as I could go or as sexy as I could go. I think I'm a little mild mannered, so I don't know how you get past that and really get gritty because you go, you see movies with violence and sex, and what do you, you know, when you get that awkward feeling when you're in the movie, and you see that, you know, it's like it's it's awkward to see it. How awkward is it to write it? You know, I'm trying to think now. What's the last thing I saw that really was like, Ugh. and I think it would be. I mean, this is not on that spectrum that bad, but Santa Clarita Diet is very graphic in terms oh, of yeah. blood because she's a zombie. Spoilers, people. But she's a zombie, and so she's eating, you know, all this raw meat, and then she starts eating people, and so there's all a lot of blood. Yeah. A lot of, um, in the beginning, she vomits, and she, like, oh. it's projectile vomit, like, all over the bathroom. It's really disgusting. But that's not, I mean, it's grotesque, but that's not, rape incest that's not like game of thrones that's yeah. not like you know and it's kind of done for or something. it's kind of done for laughs too so in the tone of the the series it's gross but it's not um horrifically gross so you're not you know nobody wants to make their audience so sick that they lose their own lunch obviously yeah i think right. in comedy in general even if you write a quote-unquote hard scene it's still going to be lighter than a drama you know i'm not writing 12 years a slave which obviously that would have more you know what i'm saying like it's mm -hmm. comedy in general because of the subject matter it's going to be a little light because maybe it's a parody of it or maybe it's a little bit out of you know touch with realism versus something yeah that's a drama honestly mm -hmm. i think um i guess it depends on your characters too like um, you, you, you've been to movies or seen TV shows where the villain is so evil. You just want him to die horribly, you know, the, or, or he, or the villain executes, you know, acts of horror on the good guys. That is so awful. It just makes you cringe. It makes you want to turn off the movie or the show. So I, I think that's, is that a good thing? Are we trying to really push the audience to get to that level of emotion? I think it's, well, I think it depends on your subject matter. So um, as an example, I'm an actress as well. And there have been times when I've been booked for nudity. And ironically, every time I've been booked for nudity, the project gets canceled. So I don't end up having to do uh -huh. it, which is fine by me. But I made myself a promise that I would never do anything gratuitous. And I know that one of the films that got canceled, I would have been playing somebody who was being trafficked. So I looked at the script uh -huh. and I'm like, you know, I don't necessarily want to run around naked on screen, but I can get behind this because of the subject matter. 
you know, ah. something like that, you kind of have to show it in all its brutality for it to hit home with viewers, right? Um, you know, that being said, we're in a in a time now where ev- everything goes. I mean, if you think back to like the 70s or the 80s, when there was violence, you imagined it like, forgive me for being a dork here, but I was watching Dragonheart, which was one of my favorite movies out of the oh, 90s. I love that movie. Great oh movie. my gosh. And one of the scenes that gets me every time is the scene where Ainan kills his mother towards the end. Ah. But you notice, remember, if you remember that scene, you, you see the conflict between mother and son. She goes off into a dark, you know, corridor or something. He follows her with the, the spear or ax or whatever that weapon is. And you see, you don't see him kill her. You hear her scream. You see the dragon's reaction, but you don't see any blood. And it still gets to me. It's all yeah. in your imagination. Mm-hmm. Whereas I think if someone was writing that scene now, you would see something. You'd see blood or you'd see, I don't know what you'd see. You'd probably see a lot more. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, I mean, in a way, I think if you're going to write a hard scene and if you don't have to show it, I think leaving it to the imagination makes it even more of an impact, honestly. But in terms of how to approach it, you know, obviously with sensitivity, do your research. You know, if you're writing something historical, you know, slaves and a period piece, do your research, you know, and and treat the material with respect, even if it's fiction. Um, But do I think that, you know, like, could you write a, a slave, a slavery piece? being a white Jewish male. Yeah, I think you could if you did the research, mm-hmm. you know, but if you're just going to write it and like not care to have it grounded in reality and grounded in truth, then we got to talk. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. And I, that just reminds me, I was just watching a, a show on Netflix. Uh, doesn't matter what show it was, but there was a character who was having a flashback to his father being abusive to him and his, his mom. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it was a very violent scene, but they didn't, you know, again, it was mostly reactions of the kid while the father was beating the wife, but you didn't see that violence on the screen, but you, you heard it, you felt it, you know, in your, in your body mm-hmm. with the sound and the, and the, you know, uh, sound is amazing to do this kind of stuff. So I guess, you know, actually it's funny cause I used to work for a sound post-production company and really learned how important sound is by using sound. You can actually affect the audience with these horrific feelings without having to physically physically show the uh, the action. Yeah. One of the other really great scenes um, that's hard to watch, and I'm sure it was hard to be in. Uh, have you ever seen The Accused with Jodie Foster? No. She's basically raped on a uh, it's a pinball machine in a bar, and it's very <sighs> brutal. In visit, you can see pretty much the whole thing happen. It was, uh, you know, it was, I think when she won an Oscar for it, I think at least she was nominated. I'd have to check that. But um, it was, a, that was a tough movie to watch. But it was, you know, it was about a victim trying to get, you know, justice. So it was done, you know, extremely graphically to really show the audience how visceral and how difficult that is, how hard that is, you know. And mm-hmm. it makes you very, very uncomfortable. Yeah. And I think that's why when I write, I don't write things super hard like that because I, it makes me too uncomfortable. So I guess I have to get over that if I want to write really strong scenes that can create that, you know, feeling you want in the audience. I mean, I think if you're going to, if you're going to go there, then have a reason for going there. You know, if you're going to write a rape scene, if you're going to write, you know, a uh, an abuse scene or something that, and you're going to write it really graphically, especially then have a reason for going that far, not to be gratuitous, not to be like, look, I can write a rape scene, but because you're trying to make a point with what you're writing and it may, and it it has to matter to the story. You know, if you took, if you took that scene out, then you wouldn't have a story. It has to matter to the story. If you're going to do it at all. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> Happy thought. Happy thought. And, and on that note, <laughs> yeah. No, but really, I mean, so I guess then I would ask, what's the what's the hardest scene you've written, and what piece was it? The hardest scene I've written. Oh gosh, uh, I'm trying to think. You know, in my my stories, a lot of times the villain is a robot or a 
alien or a horror, you know, it's a horror thing where you, you know, you know who your bad guy is and you want them to lose. So you, you don't feel too, there's not a lot of conflict in your, in your heart about it. Mm-hmm. But uh, I don't think I've, re- I, you know, it's like, I'm probably like really PG 13. People probably would look at my stuff and say, you're not really uh, anyone who could really claim to be someone who writes really graphic things. Yeah. I, I don't have a good answer for that. Cause <laughs> I don't think I've gone that far yet. You know what, for me, this is going to sound really weird because it's not quote unquote graphic, but I was working on a comedy not satire really, but just a comedy web series based on my experiences in the Christian music industry. And as much as I love Christians and Christian music, there is a lot of things you can parody because, you know, Christians say the darndest things kind of thing. And so I had a lot of weird experiences being a minority in that field. And it was hard to write about it sensitively where I wasn't, because I've noticed especially Christian media, and I'm putting quotes around this, can be very polarizing. It's either like, you know, everything's great if you become a Christian and like everybody else is horrible and and then no non-Christian wants to watch it. Or it goes on the other end, like saved, where it's like, you're making so much fun of that faith that like you, who wants to be a Christian? Nobody. And so I was trying to find a way to deal with both sides properly and like irreverently on both sides. And yet, sensitively and it's hard it's a really hard thing (laughs) and you don't think about it but so it wasn't like a you know a hard gritty thing to write but it was just hard to write about both sides sensitively without feeling like I was too much in one camp or the other if that makes sense no yeah that makes sense I, I haven't had that kind of experience my first tv pilot though um I had to kill a bunch of people it was a oh, yeah. It was a it was a situation where there was a terrorist attack on a um, basically a, a a military base, and there were a bunch of people. Just you got you know, kind of you set it up with all these people that you 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 kind of get to know them a little bit, and then you blow them up. And basically, the carnage of that terrorist scene is left out. It's kind of like it happens, and then we cut away to somewhere else, and then there's the dealing with the aftermath of it the rest of it takes place at a hospital where they treat people. So there's a little bit of gore in that blood violence trying to save everybody. But I didn't include the actual, you know, catastrophe as a visual in the scene. Um, There's a missile comes in that's cuts, you know, it kind of cuts away. Maybe that's for budget. I did that. (laughs) Didn't want to, didn't want to blow something up actually on screen because that would cost a lot more money. So how about for all of you? What's the hardest thing you've ever had to write? Let us know and let us know how you handled it. At WG Therapy on Twitter. And of course, if you like what you hear, subscribe and share it with your friends. We'll see you next week. 